This right here is the hero section of Tesla's website. And it looks quite similar to the Apple design for their own hero section. This is because this sort of layout works. It's simple, effective, and drives conversions. So for this video, I thought I'd show you the top 10 types of website hero sections that are common in 2025, as they are one of the most important aspects of web designs. Hero style one, basic hero design. This type of layout has three main elements. You have your title on the top left, an image on the right hand side, and a call to action button on the bottom left. Once you see this pattern once, you'll start seeing it everywhere in common web designs. And it works because it's both effective and simple. The pattern that's happening here is a Z pattern where your eyes are reading the text on the left, viewing the image on the right, and then finally falling onto the main call to action button, which is usually set at the bottom left. Hero style two, full screen image with centered text. While this sort of design doesn't always need the text in the center, the main focus here is the full screen image, which normally showcases the product or service or brand. And since it's an image, you'll often find these to have carousels that swap between different types of images. Web designs that normally have this type of hero section are things like furniture or clothing, since they definitely use a lot of imagery in order to sell their products. The one issue about these types of designs is that your website lives and dies by how good this one image is. Is. So you have to make sure it's spectacular with perfect color and use of text as well as call to action. Hero Style 3, full screen video. And these types of designs utilize a video content in the background or while playing and having text overlays. If an image is worth a thousand words, then a video is probably worth a million. What a full video does is take a person who's viewing a website into the world of what the brand wants you to see. And this is almost like a small commercial because it takes you into a brand new reality and makes you really excited about the brand or the product. One of the best examples of full screen video is from Tadpole, where they transition a video into an image and the image is pointing to the call to action, which is to order now. This is a beautiful implementation and shows you how you you don't have to overthink these sorts of hero sections. Hero layout for a web app preview. This is the type of hero design that shows you a mini version of the software that you're running inside of the hero section. This way you get an idea of what it feels like to use the software along with all of the features and help you decide on whether or not you might want to buy it. Designs like this don't need to be overwhelming. Even this one here from CodeMirror is a simple example of the code editor inside of a browser, which is exactly what this tool is all about. I personally like the web app preview since it's the easiest to implement with a simple screenshot as well as some text above it. Hero 5, feature preview, which is similar to a web app preview. React Flow is a great example of this. Not only do they have a little demo here on the right hand side that lets you test out what their software is like, but it allows you to interact with it directly. And this is a really cool feature while also using the default hero layout style. Libraries and tools often use the feature hero example, since they're the ones that most want to showcase their software and tools. Examples of these include things like Material UI, Tailwind CSS, and Shad CN, which really let you play around and test all their different types of blocks and components. Bonus part, designing a hero section. Now that we've had a look at a few hero sections, let's see what it actually takes to build one from scratch using Webflow, a no-code platform that's also today's sponsor. Here in Webflow, I'm gonna select Start Building. This will take me to my dashboard and I'm gonna select to create a new site. Since I wanna create a hero section, I'm just gonna start with a blank site. This will load me into the Webflow designer. I can select the plus sign to add elements, head over to layouts and select from the starter library. Here, there's already a few hero sections and I'm gonna select this one over here, which is very similar to our default hero, which I can customize with my own title, image and call to action. I can further customize this default default hero section to a hero with background image. Let's do that now by removing the side image and changing this section to have its own background image instead. As a no-code website builder, Webflow definitely makes it easy to create websites from scratch. And when you're ready to go, all you have to do is select publish. Hero layout design six, super massive text. This sort of layout basically replaces images with large bold statements, usually with a really beautiful topography. Hero sections like this often have the text utilize the entire width of the screen. And I often find them used in things like portfolios or agencies. Examples I like are ones that are extremely clear, like this one here from Irene that says she's an award-winning 3D designer. But be wary, if you add too much text to the screen, a user might not even read everything cause it's too overwhelming and they have no imagery to back it up. Hero Style 7, 
AI prompt design. It's centered around this text input, which you want the user to utilize. It's funny because the Google website is a perfect example of one of the first leaders in this type of design. Now it seems to be popping up everywhere and it actually works quite well. Since the call to action where a user tests out its functionality actually makes you want to wait through and see what the results are. A good example of this is Reloom, which uses a few of the website layout designs from our previous examples, but also adds this AI prompt in here, which helps invest the user into the process of building a new site using AI. Hero Design 8, 3D Interactive Elements. Hero sections can now be entirely made out of 3D elements. And not only that, those elements can be interactive, which is extremely cool. And it adds to a level of engagement to web pages that you just couldn't have in the past. I've seen web designs use this in a number of ways, such as linking the 3D element to a scroll interaction, allowing the hero section and the rest of the website to seamlessly transition from one section to another through the use of these 3D elements. Just be aware that if you've gotten to the point where your hero section is an entire 3D environment that you can interact with, you've probably gone too far and you should go into game design. Number nine, the pre-made hero template. Since hero sections can come in all shapes and sizes, you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. There are tools and services out there that can do this for you. Reloom's a perfect example that has hundreds of different types of hero layouts that you can literally copy and paste straight into a website. Here's an example. I'm gonna select copy and then heading over to Webflow, I literally just press Control V and it pastes the hero section in. So while it can be useful to try and build your own from scratch, it's also just as useful to use something that is already known to work. Hero Style 10, heroes with animation and interaction. With tools like GSAP, animating text or SVGs has never been easier. And this is why I see hero sections with just a little bit more animation. Hero sections that are interactive sometimes scroll jack, allowing text to animate in as you're going through the page and it always feels like you're still in the hero section. Interactivity means just having elements on the page that users can click on, and it can also mean interacting with the scroll so it's horizontal rather than vertical, or just other ways to make the page a little bit more engaging. The great thing about animation and interaction is that every website can indeed be unique, and it allows a web developer or designer to be creative, creating visual art that might have never been seen before. What are your favorite types of hero designs? Personally, for me, I like something between a blend of parallax as well as 3D, but of course it has to be subtle. It can't have too much going on, otherwise it feels overwhelming. If you have examples that you like, add them in the description below. Otherwise, a big thanks to Webflow for sponsoring this video. If you wanna learn more about them, check out the link below.